Want to know what the best cavity back available is in 2021? We have the ultimate cavity back player's iron test. Hey golfers, it's Thomas Campbell, master club fitter at Second Swing. This is exciting. These are the irons that I like to play. This is gonna be the ultimate cavity back iron test comparing seven different manufacturers what we would consider the highest performing irons out on the market currently in 2021. Some of these irons are going to be from 2020 and some of them a little bit before. There are some irons that have held this test of time and are still available by that manufacturer. So let's talk about what irons we're going to test today. First off, we've got the new Strixon ZX7. We also have the Cobra King Tour Iron. We also have the Mizuno MP20 MMC, the TaylorMade P770, the Ping i210, the Titleist T100, and the Callaway Apex Pro 21. These are the seven irons that we fit the most at second swing. These are the seven irons that are performing the best currently, and I'm excited to compare how they all perform. For today's test, I have the Nippon Modus 120S golf shaft. This is the golf shaft that all manufacturers offer in their fitting components. As a reminder, make sure you come in for a fitting to compare how they all compare yourself. Bring your gamer in. You might be able to offset the price on your new clubs by trading in your current irons. Let's hit some shots. First up was the Titleist T100. The Titleist T100 has 34 degrees of loft on the standard 7 iron. It felt pretty good. Typically what you'll find with the Titleist T100 is it usually spins a little bit more than some other different models. Looking at the top line, very, very clean top line. Not quite as clean as say a pure blade look, but for a cavity back, looks pretty good. Also felt pretty good as well. I'm excited to see how it compare against, compares against the others. TaylorMade P770. It has 33 degrees loft on the standard 7 iron, so it has one degree less loft. But you'll notice that the ball is actually going seven yards further than the T100, and that comes down to spin. Typically, you see about three to four yards per degree of loft, but you'll notice the P770, it was hot. Now, it felt really hot off the club face, and it felt like it was going, spinning significantly less. Looking down at it, the top line is just a little bit larger than say the T100, maybe a little bit longer from heel to toe. So there's a little bit extra forgiveness in this P770. But the one that, thing that really stands out to me is the spin consistency. I mean, check out those five shots that I just hit there, plus or minus 30. So it was spinning a lot less, but very, very consistent. The Ping i210, once again, I mentioned consistency with the spin with the P770. Well, the i10 carry distance is consistent. So we look at the dispersion pattern. I notice how with that purple circle, notice from left to right, the consistency on the carry distance. And that is what I have found with the Ping i210. Across the board, this club's been out for a long time. They may be coming out with something soon, but I don't know anything about anything yet. Ping i210, performed so well over the last two or three years and that is due to the consistency there too. You can notice a little bit difference in spin and distance with the P770 and the I210. P770, I210 both have 33 degrees of loft on them. I210 spun a little bit more. The P770 just went a little bit further as well. And looking at the two of them, I210 sole is just a little bit bigger. P770 is maybe a little larger from heel to toe. You can see maybe a little bit more offset with the Ping i210, 
but overall felt pretty good. Actually, for it being cast, it felt pretty soft. Mizuno MP20 MMC, I'm going to say it, nothing feels like a Mizuno. Mizuno irons feel incredibly soft and the same applies to the MMC irons. I hit two really solid shots with, the, with this iron but I did a couple that I left out to the right side. Now me being a club fitter and knowing that the lion goes a little bit flatter on Mizuno irons by about a degree compared to other models. I'm looking at the bottom of the sole of this club and I'm seeing a little bit more turf interaction on the toe side. That just tells me when you're fitting for Mizuno irons, knowing that the line go out of them is a little bit flatter than others, is important that we want to not hit it on the toe, get a little bit more in the middle of the face. So you do need to adjust the line goes around a little bit when you're getting custom fit. Felt incredibly good, looked incredibly good. Just the tendency of lead the ball a little to the right because it's a little bit flatter than other manufacturers. Callaway Apex Pro 21. First off, I'm going to talk about the feel of the club pace. After hitting the Mizuno, the Mizuno felt very, very soft and a little bit quieter. It was noticeable with the Callaway Apex Pro, the sound was a little bit louder. But looking at the club, the Callaway Apex Pro for sure is got the cleanest top line that we have hit so far. It is a good looking club to look, at, look down at. Very, very nice looking blade to look down at. I'd say it's probably got the most blade-like profile of the ones that we've hit so far in all the cavity back irons there too. It's also important to note we were hitting the MP20 MMC right before. That had 32 degrees of loft on it. The Callaway Apex Pro has 33 degrees of loft on it, but you'll notice that the exact same ball speed on, the on those last two irons. So even though the Apex Pro has more loft on it, generated the exact same ball speed. So it's hot. It generates a little bit more ball speed than other cavity backs with that amount of loft on them. The Cobra King Tour with MIM technology, it felt incredibly soft off the face, so it felt pretty good. I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty similar to the Callaway Apex Pro. Apex Pro probably just had a little bit thinner top line, but very, very similar with regards to looks. Both of them have about 33 degrees loft on as well, but yeah, the King Tour, it felt exceptionally good off the club face. Um, what's really interesting, what I found here is I'm trying to swing the same speed for all these clubs, but I noticed that my club speed got a little bit faster. A lot of that may come to the fact when you have an Arcos grip on, it actually plays about quarter inch longer. So make sure you kind of pay attention to that when you have a little bit on the extra end. Not saying that's going to make up for the extra mile an hour more of club speed, but it might generate a little bit more club speed there for you if you have a longer golf shaft. Felt good. Went dead straight. I mean, every single swing was nice and straight with it. Can't complain. Before I dive deep and analyze all the numbers, I want to start categorizing these irons. Now, I've got five categories I want to talk about. That is look, feel, consistency, high spin, and low spin. So let's first talk about the look. For me, I'm going to categorize these into the top three of all the irons. So for me personally, looking down at the clubs, I really like the look of the Titleist T100, the Apex Pro 21, and the Cobra King Tour. Those three personally looking down at it, they had the least amount of offset and probably the thinner top lines of, the, of them. So for me personally looking down at those irons, I really like the look of those. Talking about feel. So feel is very, very important for irons. My top three in feel were the Mizuno 
MP20 MMC. It felt incredibly soft off the club face. The Titleist T100 felt pretty good, and the Srixon ZX7 also felt pretty good as well. So those were my top three when it comes to feel. Consistency. Consistency is really the most important thing to kind of talk about because we want the ball to go a certain distance every single time. The Ping I210, I've said it in the past and I'll say it again, is always performs really well with regards to consistency. The TaylorMade P770 is also up there. It was going pretty far, but also was very consistent. That spin consistency really stood out to me. And also the Srixon ZX7 was also very consistent. And we had two irons there that actually went fairly far, but also were very consistent. We'll talk about that. Talking about spin, so spin is important. So it's important to get fit for the right spin rate. So talking about the high spin. So the Titleist T100 clearly does spin the most. That is the highest spinning of all the kind of the cavity back irons out there. In the past, the AP2 has always spun a little bit more. The Cobra King Tour, the MMC, and the Ping I210, those other three models would be kind of up there with regards to the highest spin. The Titleist T100 for sure definitely spun a little bit more than the others. Low spin, so distance. You're going to get more distance if you have an iron that spins the least. Well, the TaylorMade P770, the Srixon ZX7, for sure, those two had the lowest amount of spin. And the Apex Pro 21 also was kind of up there with regards to spin. So they're kind of my top three in those five categories. Let's talk about the numbers and kind of see if there's any kind of other differences that we want to talk about. So first, talking about ball speed. So ball speed, the Strixon ZX7 126.8 actually had the highest amount of ball speed out of them all. The Loft also is the strongest, the Strixon ZX7 and the Mizuno MP20 MMC. Both do have 32 degrees of loft on them. It's a little bit stronger than the others, but it also did lead to more ball speed. The King Tour and the TaylorMade P770, those two were also interesting. They had one degree more loft on them, but they still generated a decent amount of ball speed. So those are kind of high with regards to ball speed. So let's talk about spin. So the TaylorMade P770 and the Srixon ZX7 those two had the least amount of spin, and also they had the best consistency in spin. So, so they were consistently spinning quite low. Um, if you look at the other end of the spectrum, you can see the Titleist T100 at 5,700 spin. So we've got a range of about 700 RPMs of spin, so quite, quite the range. If we look at carry distance, carry distance, we see the Titleist T100 was smack on 180 yards of carry distance. And in the other end in the spectrum, the Strixon ZX7 had 189 yards for carry distance. I usually say every degree of loft is about three to four yards. We notice there's a little bit more of a separation. There's only a two degree separation between the T100 and the Strixon ZX7. If we look at height, we can see that the lowest height was actually the Mizuno MP20 MMC. I actually didn't hit it quite as well kind of left it out to the right side a little bit with that with those shots. And the highest height was actually the Cobra King Tour. Cobra King Tour was flying nice and high, just like the Callaway Apex Pro 21 and the T100, but it was very, very straight. So very, very good across the board with regards to kind of, kind of numbers. Um, really kind of interesting. So finally, I want to talk on dispersion. So I could rattle on all day about how good all these cavity back irons are. They're exceptionally good. We're lucky with technology these days. And, 2021 but let's talk about kind of dispersion so i love to look at circles that are a little bit smaller so if we take a look here you can see there's probably three circles that kind of stand out there that three to four circles that kind of stand out there with regards to dispersion so we have the uh, strixon zx7 the red circle very very small east to west also very good if we look here, we also have the Ping I210, fairly small, east to west, pretty good there as well. We also have the TaylorMade P770, We've got those yellow dots all pretty close together there. And then we also have the Cobra King Tour, the green circles there. So those were definitely the most consistent on this test. Now keep in mind, it's always going to be player dependent. Um, we did hit a lot of golf shots. So keep in mind when you do come in for a fitting that you are going to hit a lot of golf shots and compare the different models there as well. So that definitely stood out to me. Those four for sure are probably the most consistent 
Others to maybe touch on would be the Callaway Apex Pro 21. I had three really nice shots kind of right in the middle here. That's the orange dots. But then I had a pull, and then I had a miss out to the right there as well, which kind of changed the dispersion pattern a little bit there too. So interesting test. We've got some great options in 2021. There's some options that have stuck around. Speaking of the Ping i210, it's been around for a good amount of time, and there hasn't been a replacement model. And we also have some new models out in 2021 as well that are performing extremely well. So make sure you come on in to Second Swing or work with a club fitter online at secondswing.com. Bring in your gamer. We do accept trades, so trades is a great way to help offset the price on new technology. And we can also compare the differences in your model versus the current models there as well. So come on in and get fit like a pro at Second Swing.